on our Disney trip in just a few days and I wanted to share with you some of the items that we ordered for our trip. We knew that we wanted some kind of custom Disney items to wear while we were there. So I went to Etsy and there were literally like thousands and thousands of shops and items and it can be a little bit overwhelming to sift through it all. So I actually went to YouTube and searched different videos and saw some cute things. So I wanted to do the same and share with you what I got for the trip. If you're not a Disney fan, totally understand. Skip on by. We'll see you in the next video. If you are, I found some cute things that I'm really excited to share. The first thing that I got are some Disney ears and I got two pair and they're kind of the same but I'll kind of tell you why. Um, these are from the store O Tootle Ears on Etsy. I was originally looking for just some Halloween ears. We are going to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party and I'm not getting dressed up at, in a costume, but I'm wearing Halloween themed outfit, I guess we'll say. So I looked at these, I thought they were adorable. And then when I was in her shop, I found another pair. So these are kind of the same, but I thought they're cute as well. So these were $12 each, which is such a steal. I think that a lot of the shops that I was looking at for Mickey ears, there was a couple things. So first of all, a lot of them were like 30, 40 bucks, which is a little bit steep for some Mickey ears that I'm going to wear, you know, a couple days of the year. And secondly, a lot of them had like a really long lead time. So some of them were like four weeks, six weeks. Well, I didn't have that kind of time. So um, in fact, these had a lead time of a little bit longer. I don't remember exactly. So I messaged the seller before I ordered and said, you know, I need them in like three weeks. She said, not a problem. She shipped them to me within a couple of days. I highly recommend her shop. She has a ton of cute ears and some of them are ready to ship. Some of them are a little bit of a lead time, but I'm sure if you message her, she can work something out for you. So I will go ahead and link all of the shops that I used down below in the description box. Next, I got this shirt. It says birthday girl. I'm gonna actually wear this on my birthday when we're in the Magic Kingdom. This is from the shop Tees All Day. I looked at a couple of different um, birthday birthday shirts, quite a few actually, and basically what it came down to was the shirt that they use. This is like more of a big slouchy kind of shirt. I didn't, I know I wanted more of a women's fitting shirt. I didn't want like a, just a regular t-shirt or unisex shirt. I love the wide neck of this. I will go ahead and insert a picture of the shirt from the shop listing, but I thought it was cute. It says birthday girl, it has a little bow. I'm actually gonna wear this with just some black shorts and the, the Mickey ears. This is a large for size reference and it does fit kind of kind of slouchy which is cute this is a tank that I got to wear to Hollywood Studios it is a Bella tank and it's cute it's kind of a racer back and then it kind of has I don't think you're even gonna be able to see it but it has just um, some pleating on the back it's a nice thin tank but it is high quality um, but it is nice and thin it'll breathe quite well. This is from the shop, Carolina Magnolia Designs, and I did, um, I don't want to say I custom ordered it, but there's different, you could choose your tank color and then your vinyl color. So I went with the black tank with the silver vinyl. I'm going to wear this with some gray shorts. I thought it would be cute. The one thing that I have to say though is this, it's a Bella tank top and this is an extra large, which they're I mean, it's it's kind of fitted on me, so I wouldn't really even say this is an extra large. Like, I think it's kind of tiny. Um, so it does run pretty small. I probably could have got a 2X in it, um, but it does it does fit. It fits fine. It does It is a little bit loose, but it's not quite as loose as maybe I would have wanted it. But the seller shipped really quickly, so and it's a really cute shirt, so I'm really happy with it. Those are the shirts that I got for myself. I only got a couple... We didn't do like matching shirts for the whole family, just not really our style. Um, we probably could have because there were some really cute designs, but my husband wasn't all the way into it. The next shirts are for my husband um, and then some for my son. This shirt is for my husband and it's a uh, play for the Haunted Mansion and it says, and a ghost will follow you home and that's kind of at the end of the Haunted Mansion. This is from a shop called Cute Creatives Creation. This is a nice thick shirt, it's a, kind of in a Kelly Green. Thought it was cute size reference this is uh, extra large then my husband and son got a couple of matching shirts I'm gonna show you this is my son's this is a 3t and it's a little like Pirates of the Caribbean Mickey shirt he's actually worn it a few times so I've washed it 
already. As soon as it came, he wanted to put it on, and he's worn it like three times since. These are from the shop Cut From The Heart. Um, very fast shipping. I did message them and say that I needed them um, by a certain date, and they delivered. And then this is my husband's shirt. The only thing that I would say I'm not crazy about is that they're, it's the same size vinyl on both. So if you see. So, yeah, It's fine. My husband liked actually that it wasn't like the whole shirt. Um, and it's in a cute gray. It's a nice high quality shirt. They're gilded. They will wear these. They might actually wear them on the plane, but they will wear these to the Magic Kingdom probably on the first day at the Magic Kingdom. Um, because we have a fast pass for Pirates of the Caribbean. The next shirt I actually bought for my husband, it came, my son saw it and was like, oh, I need that. These are adorable. I'm gonna insert a picture because I can't really show you exactly what they do. They look like just a Mickey shirt, but then they have glow-in-the-dark vinyl, so once they're exposed to light or the sun, then they glow in the dark with Jack Skeleton's face. My husband's gonna wear it to Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween party, and then my son saw it and of course he wanted one. So they have matching shirts. It's a black t-shirt. It's a nice high quality shirt. It doesn't say the brand, but this is an extra large. And then this is for my son. It's a 3T. The only thing I would say is that I don't think it's the same vinyl on both of them. Um, my son's I have washed. I have not dried it, but it did get a little wrinkly. It's not a big deal. It's fine. Um, but... This is like a little bit different, different vinyl. Um, so like I said, I ordered one and then went back and ordered another one. The second one I ordered, I did pay for expedited shipping, which was like another like $3, but I ordered it like late Thursday night and it came to us on Monday and it shipped from California to Michigan. So I'm really happy with the seller. They have got some really cute designs. It's definitely the next time we go and I want shirts. He's definitely a seller that I will go to first to look to see what they have. The next thing I got was actually kind of fun. Um, this, I'm going to show it to you, I'm covering up our name, but I will insert a picture of the store image, but this is a stroller tag. Our three-year-old will need a stroller. Um, he usually doesn't use a stroller like around town, but I know we're going to be doing a lot of walking, so we are taking the stroller. We have like a Kiko stroller that is pretty common, so I wanted to make sure that we could differentiate our stroller from other strollers, so that's where this tag comes in. I had never heard of such a thing. I read on some blog that someone had one and I thought that's really cute. It was $21, which isn't bad. I thought it would be cute afterwards when he's no longer in a stroller to just hang it up in my office um, because it is so cute. The seller is Du Kai Designs and she shipped it really fast. I ordered it like on Wednesday and she had shipped it by like Friday and it is embroidered and personalized. So they have a bunch of different designs. Like I said, I'll link the shop below, but um, I think it's just adorable. When you travel to Walt Disney World, you do get the magic bands if you're staying on property. So I got a couple different things that I wanted to show. This is my husband's magic band, but we got these things called bit belts. And the magic bands could easily kind of come off like this. And what the bit belt does is you slide it over just to keep it more more secure. You can also use them for like your Fitbit on your wrist, but I got these from Amazon. I got a pack of I think like 10. I'll go ahead and link them below. All different colors. I have them on, you know, I have one on mine, I have one on my son. So they're um they're just an extra kind of safety measure, I guess, so that your your magic band doesn't fall off. This is mine. I got a red one, but I got stickers on Etsy to decorate it. I got this little cupcake because I'm going for my birthday. And my son got this little pirate because he's obsessed with pirates. I thought that was really cute. Those came from the store Tiffany's Craft Creations. They were really easy to apply. They're just like a vinyl decal. Cleaned it with alcohol. Um, peeled the back off of the little sticker, put it on, used a credit card to smooth it out, let it sit for a few minutes, and peel the top off. It does feel pretty sturdy on there, um, so I've read that they don't come off. They're, they do come off if you really pick at them, but they don't come off very, very easily. And from the shop J-Dub Creations, who the seller was awesome, he shipped like the same day I ordered it, which was really cool. I got this personalized monogrammed little mini with my um, monogram on there. And then I also got the center stickers from him as well. I got them in a glitter for me to match that. So my band, when it's on my wrist, it'll look like that. So the cupcake 
and then the monogram. And my son got the matte Mickey ears. Like I said, there were a thousand different choices and those are the items that we decided to order. I could have easily ordered a shirt for each one of us every single day. I could have ordered a bunch of different stickers for our magic bands and I easily could have ordered a different pair of Minnie Mouse ears to wear every single day. I do have my eyes on some Star Wars ears but I'm sure when we get down to Disney there'll be a lot of other stuff that I will want to buy so we'll wait till we come back and see what I need for our next trip. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe below and we'll see you next time. Thanks!